Oh my god. I know you're not asleep. A full-on domestic fight broke up. <laughs> Look how gorgeous the room looks. Today is Friday and I'm gonna do a three day vlog. I'm gonna make this quite a long vlog, I think. Today I'm actually going to Durham. It is 3 p.m. currently and um, I'm waiting for Tom to come and pick me up. And we are going to Durham for the weekend purely because we haven't really seen each other very much recently at all. Tom is working full time now and I have been all over the place so it'll be really nice but also because i've kind of always wanted to go to durham because they filmed harry potter there and also jack edwards goes to uni there and it just always looks so nice in his university vlogs and i was like do you know what i kind of want to visit it and we don't live too far away it's like an hour and 45 two hours it's like more northern than me and i feel like a lot of you might find that hard to believe that there is like more north than where i am because i always complain of how northern i am but actually we could drive for two or three hours and you'd still still keep going so we're heading to durham tom is driving it's quite a long drive i don't think he's ever driven that far before but it's not particularly difficult i don't think <laughs> i say i wouldn't do it but yeah i don't know where he is he's meant to be picking me up now but to be honest it's a good job he isn't because i'm not really ready i've had the busiest morning which seems to have been every day this week but i'm quite excited to go away and just not do anything like i don't think we really have many plans but i'm kind of excited for that okay guys we are now in durham i haven't filmed anything for two reasons one is pouring down with rain outside and two i actually left my memory card in the hotel room but we did just go out for dinner or tea whatever you want to call it i'm gonna call it tea because we're in the north and we went to a place called the fat hippo which was on recommendation of jack who lives in durham obviously he's at uni here and he gave me a long list of recommendations restaurants bars things to do um and basically we're just gonna do those because like he obviously knows best he lives here so we went out out there we got massive burgers but they were so nice i'm so full now though um and we were trying to find somewhere to go for dessert and there was a really nice cocktail bar and i was like oh let's go here but it just looked so fancy and i was there in like a wet denim jacket and like ripped jeans and i just didn't look the right vibe at all everybody in there looked really like really fancy so i think we're gonna go there tomorrow so it's now just after nine o'clock we've just got back to the hotel room and i think we're just gonna watch a film and have a really early night because last night we were out clubbing until like three which i know isn't that late but tom had work at seven so he had four hours sleep not even four hours no sleep. not four hours sleep and less, i haven't slept since <laughs> less than four hours sleep and he's driven to durham as well so we are quite tired and we don't want to be really tired tomorrow so i think we're just gonna have like a cozy night in and then tomorrow we're gonna make more of a full day of it and go out more in the evening as well which will be really fun the bit of durham i've seen so far is lovely but it is raining a lot so i'm really hoping it's not raining as much tomorrow but yeah i'm gonna end this bit here i know friday's section has been really short the bulk of the video will be tomorrow so yeah i'm i'm excited to see durham in the in the not rain in the daylight aren't you mm. tom is dressed by the way he just doesn't have a top on it's Why? too warm it's not it's, it's not boiling. that warm it's not boiling tom right does anybody else's boyfriend or brother or male because i always notice it's male people sexist no it is generally they always think it's boiling when it's not like, Tom would happily just be like, oh, it's so hot in the middle of December. It's literally not I'm warm. I'm going to Christmas. I'm on my Christmas jumper again. Yeah, that's the cutest thing you've ever said. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, but it's just like Christmas jumpers are nice, aren't they? Yeah, I am looking forward to Christmas actually. I'm more looking forward to autumn. But anyway, yeah, Tom always complains it's too hot when it's really not that warm. But my brother does it as well. And Lizzie. There's just some people that are always warm. I am not. I'm a cold, cold-blooded person. Like, I would happily have like five duvets and be still cold, so. Also, the lighting is very yellow. I'm gonna pick you back up in the morning. High five. That was wrong. Right, so this is single-handedly the best coffee I think I've ever drunk, so I'm gonna have to come back to Durham every single time I want a nice coffee. Look how good looking Tom looks. Wow, your hair looks so nice. You know, seeing you with such dark hair makes me want dark hair, because it always looks so nice and shiny and like healthy. My hair just looks dead. Oh my God, oh my God, the hell. Morning. It is now Saturday and you guys just saw that we had the nicest breakfast literally ever. We went to a place called Flat White Kitchen on the recommendation of Jack. Basically, this video should be sponsored by Jack Edwards. Everything we're doing is because he recommended it because I didn't really know what was in Durham. I just knew that it was like nice and I wanted to come here. We are now at the cathedral slash the castle. Don't really know the difference. I don't know how the audio will be so I think we'll stick to arty clip. Enjoy! <laughs> 
look! Did they film Harry Potter in this bit, guys? Someone tell me. I don't know, I think it's Laycock Castle. I don't think it is this bit. Out of ten. It's all day. Does Beverly do it better? Oh, it's like the same, isn't it? It is kind of the same, yeah. We are now in Ryman, which is like a massive stationery shop. And obviously, I start uni in like three weeks. Do and because really? I'm going You're to art college. Yeah. Shut up. I need a lot of um, stuff for the course. So, and Tom also is doing like graphic design. So you're looking at stuff, aren't you? Why do you look so tall? Stop, I've got makeup on. I'm not that tall. I'm, I must be, actually, I must be nearly six foot now. No, you're not I'm nearly six foot. Five Definitely I'm not. I'm definitely five eleven. Keep boosting your ego. So this is a map of Durham. We are now gonna walk to this side of it. We are currently where that blue dot is. And we're gonna walk across this bridge and then all the way back around. Currently we're sat like in the market square, like here. So yeah, Tom's got a Mars bar flavored milkshake. Just in case we haven't eaten enough today. That looks insane, I might have to try some. Oh, here's where we went for breakfast. If you're coming to Durham and you wanna go there, be prepared to wait. We're now walking up to a bridge. So we have just walked down to like the very edge of kind of, I think we're at the university end now. Um, and we're gonna walk across a bridge. One thing I am really, really noticing about Durham is that it's so hilly, isn't it? Mm. Like Beverly is very similar. If you've ever been to both, you'll know that they kind of are very similar, but Beverly is flat, like the ground everywhere in Beverly is flat. And I've come to the conclusion that we must be the only place in the country that isn't really hilly. Tom's milkshake um, fell on the floor. Had you finished it before you dropped it? I dropped the straw. Yeah, but had you finished the drink? Yeah, pretty much. So this is where we are at Curran. It looks very, very hilly. This bridge is apparently like really pretty though. Oh, there's quite a lot of nice little walkways though. This is mm, nice. Lovely. Why is it hilly? Why is this bridge hilly? Look at your little ponytail. Look at your little ponytail. It's very Tom's pretty. being mean. So we're back in the hotel room and I wanted to vlog these gorgeous cakes which have now been really squished which is such a shame because I want to take them home for my mum and dad. So we got Oreo, chocolate millionaire shortbread, lemon meringue pie and chocolate orange. But they've all fallen over so I'm going to leave them stood up now because I don't want them to like tip up. We are now back in our hotel room. I know I'm going to get questions about where this top is from. If my haul hasn't gone live by the time this video goes up, it's from I saw it first. But I think I will already have a haul on my channel. But we are now back in the hotel room and I don't think I even vlogged in here already, did I? I'm not too sure. I think I filmed it last night. We're staying in a premier inn. It looks like this. A premier inn. Yeah, we had a really nice afternoon just like walking around Durham. It was really nice to see um, like areas that I've seen in vlogs and like just generally I feel like I don't know why but I feel like I've seen a lot of photos of Durham and stuff and I've never been before and it was just really nice to like um, have a walk around and not have an agenda like it's so rare that I do stuff or go places where I don't have to like be back for a certain time or have like a video to upload or something and it was just nice to like leisurely have brunch and then walk through the cathedral and like across the river and go in and out of shops whenever we wanted to. We came back to the hotel room at about five o'clock it is now ten to six um, and Tom has been having a nap literally ever since although you have just woken up haven't you you're not asleep i know you're not asleep you're pretending why are you so warm <laughs> i'm freezing you feel really warm this is the same conversation we had last night but yeah we're gonna go out for dinner tonight at a restaurant called la spaghetta la <laughs> spaghetti something i don't know and that was another recommendation from jack but also when i walked past it i did myself think god that menu looks really nice like we walked past and like basically i am drawn to any italian food so the plan is we're going to go there and then afterwards we are going to go for cocktails and there are two cocktail bars right across the road from the premier inn so we're gonna probably go to the one that we can see one of them looks really fancy and nice but it was really busy last night and tonight is obviously saturday night so i think we're going to aim to go out for food about half past six just have a really leisurely evening eat and then go for a couple of drinks and then when we come back i kind of want to watch harry potter what are you doing mm. what are you doing you just want to go back to sleep don't you mm -hmm. i'm halfway through a conversation with them but yeah i don't know we might watch harry potter or we might watch there's a new film on netflix called what is it called mm, the girl the boy list of boys who she liked or something yeah to all the boys i've loved before that one that's the one that's meant to be really good though so i might might convince Tom to watch that, although the Wi Fi is not very good. I don't know if we could stream Netflix. Oh, yeah, what a shame. We might not have to watch that. Seriously, why does your breath smell like fish? Ew. <laughs> Some of you might have seen me tweeting about this, but I've had hiccups all day and it's so annoying. Like, I've had them on and off. <laughs> 
constantly. And when I get the hiccups, I get them really, really bad and they don't go. <laughs> <laughs> they don't that go. Works. They, don't... <laughs> they don't go for hours. Like honestly, like I'll get them for like 20 minutes and then they'll be gone for 10 minutes and I'll come back, come back again. And it's so annoying. And my grandma just texted me and was like, "Try having a spoonful of sugar, <laughs> a spoonful of sugar, swallow it dry." And look, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Luckily, we've got sugar in the hotel room, so I'm gonna put it on a spoon and I'm gonna. Just gonna spoon? We have spoons. So we have spoons. Oh, we could have had yogurt. We're gonna test if this works because if it do if it works, it's revolutionary. Sick of getting the hiccups. I'm sick of you being a problem. <laughs> I'm not going out. That was mean. Okay. It is true. This is meant to work. <laughs> 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 you know something really funny. What? Chelsea had turned up against Arsenal in 20 minutes. Oh, that's cool. I don't care. <laughs> Okay, this is meant to cure the hiccups. What the hell? I don't think this is gonna I think work. She's meant to send this to me. Looks stupid. Probably right. Okay. <gasps> oh, I don't think I'm gonna like oh this. Oh my god! Why are you an irritant? Think about how much sugar I've had today. <clears throat> it said it cured it for 19 out of 20 people. <clears throat> don't try that. It doesn't work. Let's go for food. So I'm now ready to go out. I have this outfit on, so it's like long sleeved. It's kind of become really autumnal. Um, so this top is from Isa at first, as I already mentioned, and then my jeans. I don't think I actually mentioned it when I got them. They're from Hollister. They're these like black ripped jeans. I really, really like them. Then I have just gone over my hair with the hair straighteners, but it has been raining the full weekend, so it's just kind of like a bit frizzy. It hasn't rained today, but it's been like damp. And then I've done my eyeshadow. Who am I? I've actually done makeup. Like what? And this is a gorgeous Stila liquid eyeshadow. It's the shade ballet baby and then just like a pinky transition shade and we are gonna go for dinner now my tummy looks really tanned my face doesn't match it why does the tan go on your face first it's so upsetting we are now in spaghetti which i literally can't say um and it's very warm in here it's also kind of dark but i like it it's like a nice vibe it's very um quaint and a very like unchained restaurant esque so i've ordered something that i've never eaten before as well so big up you probably can't hear me or even see me because it's out of focus okay we have just finished up our meal uh, La Spaghettiata, which I still can't That's say. Even called that, it was right. It's called... It called La Spaghetti. <laughs> no, it was La Spaghettata or something. I tied my hair up because it was really warm in there. Um, and if you didn't quite gather from the last two clips, a full-on domestic fight broke up while we're in there between two tables. Didn't really see what happened because I was sat on my back. Too. It was really. Funny. It was. They were like so standing up and like spread out to each other. But also, yeah, the, the, like, one, the one two of the guys men... was like one of the guys was like pissed that he was uh, drunk. <laughs> He was, like, he was like half asleep and he was like, you want to fight? You don't want to punch me? The, also, the other guy was like balling really hard. Yeah, like, the, the two like <laughs> men, like there was like, there were families, like the two dads stood well, up and like squared up there, there was, to each other. There, there was a grandma and granddad, because they, they were calling, the kids were calling them like grandma and granddad. And then there was, what I'm assuming was the mum and dad. Yeah. Um, but they had five kids. There was five kids sat oh around that God, table. God, that's a nightmare. But the proper started swearing, and these children no, yeah, were little. Well, one of them was sat on the mum's knee. When yeah, she was telling them the to children were all between like, well, under ten, I'd say, all of them. Oh, yeah. Um, so yeah. Anyway, now we're gonna go for cocktails. Something I've really noticed is that everybody in Durham is dressed so nicely. I do not know what has gone on in Durham this weekend, but everybody looks like they're going to a wedding, and I kind of want to ask somebody. But I just don't understand. Like we are you know so I'm not sure dressed it, right I'm sure at all. It's birthday. <laughs> yeah. Tom's saying is it Durham's birthday, is the whole city having a birthday. So we've ended up in a very bougie cocktail bar, which is actually more like a nightclub and I don't even know how this happened because I thought it was just a bar. It is now Sunday, the 19th of August, and we are headed for breakfast at the Riverview Cafe, which is right near the waterfront where we were sat yesterday. And we saw it, and I was like, that looks so cute. So we're heading there, and then we're just going to do a bit more exploring. I think we're going to go to a museum, and then I don't really know what the plan is, to be honest. Getting breakfast now. So this is where we are sat having breakfast. It is honestly gorgeous. So, so pretty. Tom's watching the ducks out the window. This, like, this pipe. And then, like, diving in, it's quite fun. We're just deciding what to have, but I don't really know what I want. I'm low key feeling pancakes again because today they've got Nutella pancakes, but I had them yesterday and they were like so big. Drinks have arrived, got another latte, obsessed. Also, they came with little Diane bars. That's cute. Okay. Another day, another stack of pancakes. Stop it. 
This duck is skilled. It's literally stood on one leg. Look at its little tiny leg. We are now in the Durham Museum. I feel like I need to speak quietly. This is the exact kind of place that I would have come on a school trip when I was little. Like, this is such a school trip place. I bet people in Durham come on school trips here, don't you? What do you think? Oh my god, you do know that everybody's just gonna call you clingy now, don't you? I'm just sleepy. Look at these stained glass windows. They are like so impressive, what the hell? They were now stood in a Victorian prison cell. This is literally the kind of place I would have come when I was in year four. Oh, put that line down and let see, that's important. Let me see. That is so stupid, what is the point in that? Sorry that's really hurting you, why are you sitting on it? This was actually quite a luxurious cell, look you've got like a stool in it. We learned loads about prisons when I was in like year 10. I remember learning about Victorian prisons. So we just had a look around the museum and now we've come into a little pub called the Shakespeare which is like near the market square. Tom don't put your feet up. You're always tired. Um, basically, it looks like this. There's like nobody else in here. Everybody else is in the front room. But look how like old fashioned this looks. It is definitely haunted. We are now shoe shopping for Tom. Who has a shoe obsession, don't you? A little bit. A little bit. Tom's getting a subway. I'm still full from the killer pancakes. Look, we've only just realized this, but you can hire rowing boats. We've walked along here down the street. We haven't been down here yet. And there's like this really nice like cocktail bar. And then I just saw this couple like rowing over there and I was like, oh my God, they're on a rowing boat. And you can hire them. Although we would have definitely fallen in. And I would have done all the work. You wouldn't have done all the work. Did you not watch the Madrid vlogs? Look how gorgeous Durham looks from this angle. We are now in the car. It is just about three o'clock and we're gonna set off driving home because that way we'll get home for about five, maybe just after because we do have to stop for fuel. But then we're home for tea and I'm so excited because my mum is cooking a roast dinner and I haven't had a roast dinner since I don't even know when. Like before I went to Lanzarote, like over a month I would say. I'm so excited. So yeah, that is the plan. We are now leaving Durham. Overall, I would rate Durham a solid 10 out of 10. I really, really liked it. It's somewhere I could totally see myself living. Um, I think it's very very similar to where we live but a little bit more city-esque like there's a little bit more um, things to do a bit more shops like a bit more like bridges and stuff like that whereas Beverly literally just is the town centre and the church but yeah very similar but very nice did you enjoy it it was nice to just like get away and not have much to do like we have just had an explore just wandered around eaten a lot and like napped a lot and just had a proper chilled out weekend but it's been really nice it's not too far from home either so yeah, we need to find a petrol station now. See you on the flip side. Daylight. Who remembers this? Oh, if you remember this, this is like the throwback. So, I have now just got in. Tom has just dropped me off and gone home. And I've come in and my mum and dad have got me this parcel. Uh, is this for my exam results or just generally? Oh my god, it's heavy. Okay, it's to take with me to university. I have no idea what this is at all. It feels kind of like a photo frame. It's a massive photo frame. Standing on the cards. I've also got loads of cards off my family members and stuff, which is very nice. It's like Christmas Day. Oh, that's... <laughs> of just top so nice where'd you get these printed from look guys it's like loads of photos i love how like it's just our heads in that one why is you printed a portrait one and put it in a yeah, a landscape frame. No, they're really nice though. I like that one. I'm not gonna forget you. I love how Eve's just dropped in half. No. Like, <laughs> half <laughs> Sorry, Eve. <laughs> oh no, that's so nice. That's like all my friends in one frame. And well, I tried to get a good spread of. Yeah, that's really people. nice. I've got my school friends in this one. Lots of Tom. Sorry, anybody that's missing. Yeah, no, Tom might need. There's there's a lot of Tom. I might replace a couple and put like my other friends. Okay. Too much Tom. We don't need that many pictures of Tom. Sorry. Thank you though. This is so nice. I don't know where I'm gonna put it though because I can't put stuff on my wall. I know, but it'll prop. Yeah, true. It's not huge. Tom said he's gonna get me some command strips. He's putting together a hamper for when I go oh, good. of things that I might want to take with me, even though I've already bought most of it. So I'm editing this vlog and I realised I haven't ended it, so I'm gonna end it now. Thank you very much to everybody that watched. I hope you enjoyed watching us in Durham. I really enjoyed the weekend. It was nice to film little bits of it, um, and it was nice to just like you know chill and have a pretty relaxed weekend. What? You're laughing at photos. My mum is sat at the side of me looking at old family photos. Can I show you? Can I show you this one? Look at my mum as a child. Do you think she looks like Harry? because I do. That is Harry with a wig. Mm -hmm. That is Harry with a wig. So yeah, if you can just hear silent laughter at the side of me, it's my mum looking at old, old pictures. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog now. Sorry, that was a bit random. Hope you have enjoyed, as I already mentioned. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe because I'll be back tomorrow with a collab with Eve, Liv and Lizzie. I think you're gonna really, really enjoy it. Um, that'll be up tomorrow night at 6 p.m. So yeah, bye.